वायु श्रीमद भारत एट कैंटो चैप्टर एट टेक्स्ट फिफ्टीन समुद्रोपी तो कौशेयो आशी समुपारो वरुण सक्रज वैजयती मधुना मत सटपदा समुद्रोपी तो कौशेय भाषी समुपाहर वरुण स्रज वैजयती मधुना मत सटपदा translation by silo propad the ocean which is the source of all valuable jewels supplied the upper and lower portions of a yellow silken garment the predominating deity of the water varuna presented flower garlands surrounded by six legged bumblebees drunken with honey the deity in the abhisheka ceremony with the various liquids such as milk honey jogru ghee cow dung and cow urine it is customary to supply yellow garments in this way the abhisheka ceremony for the goddess of fortune was performed according to the regular vedic principle so one thing is here one should understand Right. The ocean, which is the source of all valuable jewels, supplied the upper and lower portion of yellow silken garment. I am speaking about this ocean. Ocean is the source of all valuable jewels. Therefore, one of the names of ocean is Ratnakara. Ratnakara. Ha. Ratna means valuable jewel. valuable wealth gold ah huh? and jewel and diamond like that is very valuable one of the names of ocean is ratnakara ratnakara ha you understand are you a diver can you dive deep into the ocean are you a diver you are diver ha huh? Yes, you have gone. So, have you collected some valuable jewels? Then, then what is? Now, how are you, diver? One is diver. That we also see nowadays. There are some divers. Those who dive deep, very deep, deepest portion, you see, of the sea. Then they can collect such valuable jewels. That. Such valuable jewels lie on the very deepest portion of the sea, not in the surface, not in the middle portion. Is that deepest? To dive deep, deeper, 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 and deepest, then you can collect such valuable gems. You understand? Some divers are now going to collect what you say, mukta, diamond, valuable gems. They dive very deep, isn't it? Nowadays, huh? also some news also coming, huh? and they are risking their life. That why yes, we'll get such valuable jewels. Do you understand? So they are risking their lives to get it, and they have two two things, two purposes. What do do you understand? What are the two purposes behind this? The divers diving deep into the Ocean, very deep, deeper, deeper, deepest. What are the two purposes? One is to collect those valuable gems. Another is two purposes are there. This is one of the purposes. And the second purpose, don't you know it? Huh? Nonsense. When you get wealth, then you will become wealthy. That's automatic. <laughs> Another is he'll be noted as the best diver. Do you understand? And many from all corners of the world, ah, huh, his name will be published in all the newspapers. He'll become a famous, renowned for diver. And from all corners of the world, 
so many praises, so many honor that love puja pratishtha. Name, fame, prestige will come to him. The second purpose. This is second purpose. Do you understand? For these two purposes, a materialistic person huh, risking his life dives very deep, deeper, 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 deepest person of the sea to collect this huh, valuable wealth. James, do you understand? Thereby he put these two purposes. Thereby he risks his life. If he dies, there is all, uh, there is all possibility of his death. Because in this uh, ocean you will find many ferocious aquatic animals are there. Like sharks are there, crocodiles are there, whales are there, and other big animals there, those who swallow the whales also. You know, thimming. But in order to for the rest of his life. If he dies, still, if he dies, still, after death also, he'll get some honor. Yes, this will be published. For okay, such person, uh, Mr. This, uh, what is it? Jagadatma, I don't know. It's such a uh, renounced diver. He dived and he pressed forth. See, and now he is no longer but he so says, you know, even that, that will come after death also. Isn't it? He is therefore the materialist. They do. But for us, we, the Vaishnavas, Bhaktas, we have one teaching in it. It's Tattva Vichya. You understand? If you, this is this is what we say, this uh, ocean, this uh, Tattva Gyan, Bhagavad Gyan, do you understand? It's like unlimited ocean. It's like unlimited ocean. Do you understand? It's unlimited ocean. If you dive more and more, deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into that ocean, then you can collect more valuable gems. More valuable asset and more valuable. Most valuable thing is Krishna prayer. Then you can get it. You understand? That is the real wealth, the real asset. And in valuable asset, you cannot calculate, evaluate. You can evaluate these material assets. But you cannot evaluate Krishna prayer. It's such an invaluable asset. You understand the word? Prema dhana vina daridram e jivan da asakari vetan mare deo prema dhan. Sometime speak about it. I am poor. I am very, very poor, poorest person because being bereft of this prema dhan, Krishna prema. Isn't it? One who is in possession of such Krishna prema is the real what is a wealthy person, wealthiest person, most worthy, isn't it? Because he is in possession of invaluable asset. It's Krishna free. Do you understand? That they are still telling you how this Goswamis, Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, they kicked up all their material things. They become keen, poor. Eh? They had only tattered. Uh, kantha, kaupin, and kanti, one water pot, nothing else, no asset. Outwardly, apparently. But they were in possession of that invaluable wealth asset, that is Krishna prayer. Krishna prayer, do you understand? So that touch stone was running at the feet of Sanatana Goswami. Invaluable, wonderful touch stone. If you touch a piece of iron to it, immediately it will be transformed into gold. But he's kicking it up. He's kicking it up. Still it's rolling. Because he is in possession of such wealth. Such wealth. That is Krishna free in Vana. Do you understand? Krishna free. That is such wealth. Therefore he can kick it up. That he is the best 
diver. He is the best diver. Who was huh? dived to the the best portion of that unlimited ocean of Krishna Prem, Gyan, Tattva Gyan. So he has collected such in that wealth. This Tattva is here for us. Do you understand? So this um. um Therefore, it is said, the ocean is the source of all valuable jewels, Ratna Garbha, Ratna Karo. And we also, in Purana, Vedic literature, it is said, there was one Augusti Muni uh, who made the seven oceans, do you understand? Sat Samudra, seven uh, oceans dry. Only by drinking one handful of water from that ocean, you understand. One handful, he drank and made all the seven oceans dry up. Such mention is there in Purana, Vedic literature. Do you believe so? Huh? You believe? You don't disbelieve? You have some. You have you have developed faith in this Veda. Therefore, you believe. But mostly people don't believe it. They have no faith in it. You understand? They don't believe it. That this is not reality. This is mythology. They say this is not reality. This is mythology. Mostly very big big persons, great learned scholars, pundits, big big professors. That's why I acquired so many degrees from so many universities. I have PhD, doctorate. They say so. No, this is not reality. This is mythology. Even this say this Kuru Khetra. Do you understand? There was five thousand years ago. You see, there was a battle between Kauravas and Pandavas in Kuru Khetra. A uh, battlefield, uh, and Krishna. Was the chariot driver of Arjuna, and Krishna spoke this Bhagavad Gita in that battlefield to Arjuna, huh? Huh? while driving his chariot in sitting in the chariot. You see, but these people don't believe it. The so-called big big pundits, pundits, they don't believe it. This so this is mythology. This is not reality. How is it possible? This um, you see. Um, Uh, Kaurava, uh, Kauravas and Pandavas, two parties. They were fighting, and they had the soldiers, uh, Sanya. Uh, Kauravas had eleven uh, Aikhuni uh, soldiers. Do you understand Aikhuni? Ah, uh, eleven Aikhuni Sanya is group. You know it in Bhagavad Gita that is uh, mentioned uh, in Mahabharat that is mentioned, uh, and uh, this uh, Pandavas they have eight Aikhuni soldiers, soldiers. Ah, uh, Kauravas had eleven Aikhuni, and Pandavas have eight Aikhuni. Ah. Uh, Uh, there is one calculation. Do you understand? So, if you calculate, you will find so many. And there are horses, there are elephants, there are drummers, there are those uh, the, the trumpeters, huh? trumpeters. You see, huh? so many. Some and some servants are there. And some audience were there. So many people. You, you cannot calculate. But they say we see Guru Ketra such a small plot of land there, is near Delhi. A small plot. How is it possible that so many people, this small plot of land, accommodated so many people? Impossible. It's quite impossible. We don't believe it. We don't believe it. This is not reality. This is mythology. They say. 
This is not reality. This is mythology. Do you understand? That's a such thing. You see, in Gita, you'll find Mahati Chamu. This word Chamu you will find in first chapter of Gita. Isn't it? First chapter when Virjodhan uh, uh, approaching Drona saying this thing. Mahati Chamu. This Chamu means a group of soldiers in which 729 elephants are there. 729 chariots are there. 2,187 horses were there. And 3,645 what you say? Padatik uh, foot soldiers are there. Uh, is all together one chamu. One chamu. Do you understand? You calculate. Similarly, eleven such, such eleven, eleven oikhoni is in cover of sight, and eight oikhoni is like this in front of sight. How many they are? Do you understand? You calculate. Plus, drummers are there, trumpeters are there, bugle blowing persons are there, servants are there, onlookers are there, servants are there. Ah, uh, tent pictures are there. So many, so many, so many people are there. You imagine, you calculate. They say it's impossible. It's quite impossible. It's such small plot of land accommodated such people. No, no, no. This is mythology. This is not reality. They say so, isn't it? But this is a fact. This is a fact. Now how could it be possible? This is inconceivable. This is Krishna's inconceivable leela, past time. Krishna himself is present. Do you understand? And Krishna saw Vishwarupa, universal form, sitting on the chariot. The such a small plot of land, and there is a chariot. Of Arjuna, in which Krishna was driver. So, what portion of land a chariot occupies? You think of it. A chariot occupies this small portion of land, in that small plot of land. So, in that chariot, Krishna manifested this his universal form. The whole universe is sword. Huh? And Arjuna got the action. You understand? Dipa chakyum dadan. I give you this huh? spiritual eye, divine eye. Therefore, you can see. So Arjuna could see. Arjuna couldn't estimate, couldn't calculate, could not comprehend. Where is its beginning? Where is its middle? Where is its end? Such, such form, universal form, huh? possessing such spiritual eye. Still, he couldn't calculate, couldn't comprehend. Where is its beginning? Where is its end? Where is its middle portion? Huh? Isn't it? Do you think of this thing? That Krishna saw such a form in the chariot. Chariot is such a tiny chariot. This plus portion of land, space it occupies. So in the chariot is so. The how, how is it possible? These people cannot believe it. No, this is impossible. We can't believe it. This is mythology. This is not reality. They will say so. And they are saying. And they interpret in their own way. They understand? They interpret in their own way. No, no, this is not the fact. Guru Khetra, Juddha, the battle of Guru Khetra, ah, take place there. It is taking place here. Here. They understand? They here. Guru Khetra, it is here. Hmm? In the heart it is going on. Uh, the five senses, is five pandavas, like this, like this, they just speculation, uh, they do, and in their own way they interpret in that way. But this is not going to happen. Therefore it says, evam parampara praptam imangra dasya vidu. This is question of tattva. 
स विज्ञानार्थ स गुरु भावी गच्छ समित पानी सोत्रे उनका And this human form of life is meant for this tattva gyan, achievement of tattva gyan. Jiva sa tattva gyan sa nartha jasya ho karma bhi, Srimad Bhagavat says, first canto. Jiva sa tattva gyan sa nartha jasya ho karma bhi. Your life, oh human beings, your life is meant for this inquiry, tattva gyan sa. Do you understand? Inquiry. Inquiry about tattva. That is your purpose of your life. If you can understand the supreme truth in tattva, then this will be your last life. Krishna says that thing in fourth chapter of the Gita. Janma karma chame dhivyam evam jyobeti tattva taha tekpa deham punar janma nayati बॉडी He will go to me. He will never again be born here. You understand? He will never again be born here. You understand? He will, he will never be again placed in mother's womb, matru kuki. You understand? Because to be in the mother's womb means in a very painful situation. Jantrona, jantma jantrona, barthi de misery. Birth, death, old age, and disease these are miseries here. So birth is a misery. It's a very painful situation. Do you understand? How painful do you understand? If simultaneously hundreds of scorpions will bite you, you imagine how painful it will be. If one scorpion will bite you, you cannot tolerate such pain. If hundreds of scorpions will bite you simultaneously, such pain is there in mother's womb. To be placed, to be put into mother's womb, it's such painful situation. Do you understand? And you'll never be put into your mother such painful situation again if you understand this in tattva. Janma karma sa me dibjong ni bung jobe ti tattva ta. Tek pa dehum punar dhan naiti sa mangi ti abdu. Therefore, Krishna said, "My birth, my appearance, my activities are all spiritual, transcendent. It is not material." One who understands it in tattva, in truth, then it will be his last birth here. He will never, after quitting this body, he will go to me. He will never be born here again. This is the purpose of our human life. Do you understand? This is the purpose. This is the purpose of our human life to understand this tattva. Three tattva, we say, mostly three tattva. What are three tattva? Ah, huh? that's one one sense, one consideration. Now, mostly three tattva: isa tattva, jiva tattva, maya tattva, sakti tattva. Do you understand? Three tattva. Is one should understand. Three tattva gyan. Do you understand? Isa tattva means Krishna tattva. Do you understand? And Jiva tattva, do you understand? Suya tattva, your own tattva. Jiva tattva, do you understand? Paramanasa dance. Ah, huh? your own tattva. Who are you? Jiva tattva and Maya tattva. Maya, three tattva. This three tattva most rich. Do you understand? Must have. This is the purpose of this human body. जीव सतत्व जिज्ञासा नार्थोजस्तेमीजीवीजीवीजीवीजीवीजीवीजीवीजीवीजीवीजीवीजीवीजीवीजीवीजीवीजीवीजीवीजीवीजीवीजीवीजीवीजीवीजीवीजीवी
material enjoyment or sense enjoyment. But inquiry is going on. On this topic, the sense enjoyment, material enjoyment, inquiries are going on. Who is inquiring about these three things? Isatattva, Suyatattva, Jeevatattva, and Mayatattva. How many? Very rare persons, rare, rare, durlabha. You understand? So Srimad Bhagavatam said, Jeeva Satat Na Kama Sananga Pidi Lava Jiveta Javata Jiva Satat Jyasa Nath Jasya Karma Bhi. Don't inquire. You human beings, don't inquire about this material sense enjoyment. You understand? It will come to you without asking for it, without making any effort for it. You understand? It will come to you because whatever is allotted to you, it will come. Is already allotted according to your prayer of the You understand? Some enjoyment, some happiness, and some distress is mixed. Here in this material world, you get this mixed thing. Happiness and distress mixed, mixed, not unmixed. You'll never get unmixed thing here. You'll all, always get here mixed thing. Some happiness is there and then distress is there. And outcome is unlimited distress. Happiness is very little. But unlimited distress is there. And happiness is mixed thing. So according to the power of the karma, this has been allotted to you. What happiness you will get and what distress you will get, it must come to you. It must. Why you make a pot for it? Those who are foolish, they make a pot for it. You understand? Foolish persons, they make a pot for it. But those are wise, not a suramate buddha. Jai sanspada bhoga, dukha zona ya yebate, adyanta bhanta kaunthaya, Mahate Suramati Buddha. Those are Buddha. Those are real learned persons. They don't run after it. They don't make any effort for it. No, they, they know it. It will come unasked for without any effort. What is allotted? Why shall I make effort? I must make effort how to get that Krishna Prem. For which this life is meant. Do you understand? Labdhva asad lava idam bahu sambhavante manasya marthada manitya mapi adhira. Eleventh canto. Srimad Bhagavad says this. After undergoing lakhs, 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 lakhs of species of life, Krishna has given you this chance. Now, Krishna has given you this chance, giving you human body, human birth. Giving you human birth, Krishna has given you chance. Rare opportunity, rare chance. Do love. You understand? What is that opportunity? Because in this very path, you'll get Paramartha. That is Krishna Prem Bhakti. Do you understand? Krishna Prem Bhakti. That you can get. And this life is meant for that. And you must inquire about it. You must make a part for it. That is the whole purpose of your life. Do you understand? Labo jibet o That was labo jibet o This is the ultimate gain. For this ultimate gain, you should survive. This is the purpose of your survival. For this ultimate gain, Krishna prayed. It's real love. It's a real. Do you understand? Another is prayer. These two words, Shreya, Shreya. Shreya means this ultimate gain. That is Krishna Prem, which is beneficial for the soul, for soul wants. Do you understand? Which is real happiness. With real happiness and unlimited 
outcome is all pleasure and happiness. That is Shreya. And Preya is opposite. Preya means all material things, material happiness. Material enjoyment, that is Preya, whose outcome is unlimited misery. Two things, Shreya and Preya. Do you understand? Two things are there, Shreya and Preya. But here in this material world, all are running after Preya. All are inquiring about it. Jignasa and Preya. Nobody inquires about Shreya. Very rare. Very rare. Statistics, if you take statistics, you'll get, you'll get a very disappointed statistics. You'll be disappointed. So few, very rare person, they inquire about Shreya. They make a thought about it. But Bhagavatam says, Lava jivi Ha! You must survive, keep up your life, only that attainment of that Shreya, that Krishna praying. And inquire about it. Inquiry question of Jigyansha, Jiva Sa, Tatva Jigyansha, Natha Jasceha Karmavi. All your activities should center around this Tatva Jigyansha. But all your activities here now around, center around Preya Jigyansha, not Sreya Jigyansha. Do you understand me? Huh? All your activities are, do you understand? All your activities center around Preya Jigyansha, not Sreya Jigyansha. But Bhagavatam says, Jiva Satatva Jigyansha, Nartha Jascheha Karma Bhi. Oh, human being, all your activities should center around this Sreya Jigyansha, not Preya Jigyansha. You understand? This life is meant for it. And this rare upper chance has been given. Any moment a chance, you will miss this chance. Any moment, no certainty and certainty. You may miss this chance, next moment, who knows? Who knows? Next moment you may miss. You may die next moment. This body may finish next moment. There is no certainty in it. Such an uncertainty is here, isn't it? But he is wise. He is wise, intelligent. He is a really learned person who never misses chance. No, I will never miss this chance. This chance may not come again. May not come again. Some foolish persons are there. I have heard. They say, all oh, right, if it is not attained in this life, we will get it in the next life. Such foolish persons. How do you know? Is there a guarantee that you will get such chance in the next life? That you will get a human birth? Is there a guarantee? Bharat Maharaj was an exalted person. He had to undergo three births. How do you think that I will get the next birth? Such foolish person. Is this foolishness is going on? During my this European tour, I heard from many, oh, if it's not in this life, we'll get it next. Nonsense. Foolish person. Such foolishness. How do you know that you'll get in next life? Krishna will give you again the chance. Such an exalted person, Bharat Maharaj, are you? Are you? Like him? He had to undergo three lives. But you have to undergo three lakhs or so many lakhs of life, you don't know. How to say that next life? Such foolishness is going on. It's all only foolishness, nothing else. You understand? No certainty, no guarantee is there. So a wise man, intelligent man, never misses this. Chance. No, I want to miss. This life I must have. I must. Avail the opportunity. Opportunity has been given to me. I must avail it. This is real intelligence, wisdom. Do you understand? So, Jive Krupaya Kaila Krishna Veda Pura. Maya Mukha Jive Nahi Krishna Smuti Gyan. Jive Krupaya Kaila Krishna Veda Pura. This conditioned soul has completely 
forgotten Krishna. You understand? Completely forgotten Krishna. He has this bodily conception of life. He knows only his body, nothing else. He doesn't know anything beyond his body. He doesn't know anything beyond his body. He knows the body is the self, body is everything. Isn't it? Such a ah, forgetful soul. But Krishna, Srutam Sarvabhutana, who is only well wishing friend of all living entities, but he has not forgotten you, you have forgotten me. So, out of mercy, compassion for you, he gave you this Veda Puranas. Jivere Krupaya Kaila Krishna Veda Purana. Uh, out of mercy, out of compassion, Krishna gave you this Veda Puranas, Vedic literatures. You understand? Where all these things are said. Through Veda Puranas, Krishna speaks, Krishna says. But what he says, it's, it should be understood in Tattva. You understand? Ebon Jeveti Tattva this will be understood in Tattva. We have to, therefore we have two types of considerations. Apart vichar, Tattva vichar. Apparent consideration and absolute consideration. But our, all considerations based on this Tattva vichar, our, our all Vaishnava philosophies, we Vaishnavas, our whole discussions based on this tattva vichar, based on this no apart vichar, no apparent consciousness. We completely reject it. Do you understand? Those, those are speculators. Those who don't accept this parampara system, soto parampara, don't accept such a bona fide spiritual master, don't hear from them. They speculate only. They say, this is mythology, this is not reality. No, there is no such Guru Khetra, no battle was there, it is going on here. They say like that. Do you understand? They, they are after this apart vichar. They are after this apart vichar, this apparent instance. But we are not. We are after this tattva vichar. And all our discussion based on this tattva vichar. How can one understand this tattva? Therefore says, Sastra Guru Atma Rupe Apana Gejanan Krishna Mur Prabhutra Ata Jivera Hoi Gyan. Chaitanya Chaitanya. First Sastra, Krishna gave Sastra, Vedic literature, then how to understand what Sastra says, what Veda says, Vedic literature says, Veda Purana says should be understood in tattva. Therefore comes guru, tattva acharya. Next thing, tattva acharya. Tadvidhi pranipapeno pariprasneno sevaya upadekhyanti te jnanam jnanino tattva darsino. Gita. Tadvijjana artham sakurun evari gatshet samitpani satriyam brahmanishtam upanishad says. Upanishad says, one who is serious, very serious, yes, I won't miss this chance, rare opportunity. I must get this tattva This is the supreme perfection of my human life. I must achieve this perfection in this very life. I, I won't miss chance. So he must approach. That began with him, Sadhguru, he must go, he must go, Ebhavi Gatshad. This verb is most important. There's, there's no optional. No optional. Must go, must approach. A babi got said. If you know Sanskrit, this word is used like that. A babi got said. He must go. This must. There's no optional. No optional. It's serious. Sotriyam Brahmanistam. Who is that guru? Sotriya? Who has heard it? Who comes in this hearing process, Sauta Paramparjya, hearing process, descending process, not speculation, ascending process, descending process, Sauta Paramparjya, hearing, Sauta. He has heard from his guru. This Tattu He has received the Tattu from his guru. 
Acharya. And that Guru, he has heard from his Guru. Though in this hearing process comes, Acharyavana Purusha Veda. Upanishad says, this is Acharyavana Purusha Veda. He knows one was heard from the bona fide source, hearing process. One must approach such a person. Sutriya, Brahman is true. Then, Tadvidi Pranipatena, Riprasdena Sevaya, Bodhikhyanti Te Jnana, Jnana Tatarasina. Three, these are processes. Pranipata, Oriprasna, Seva. Three things. Three things are required. Aprasate, Guru, Tattvacharya, knows what. Received Tattvagyan from his Guru, or from me, by his mercy, as he said. So Aprasate person, first, surrender, complete surrender. Is Pranipata. Complete surrender at his lotus feet. Second, Bari Prasna and Seva. Serve him. Please him by service. Then humbly ask. Humbly put questions on this Tattva Jigyasa. These three things. Then out of mercy, he will impart this knowledge. By his mercy, you can have it. And that is his mercy. That is Sadhu Guru's mercy to impart this tattva jnana. This is the mercy of sadhu. They have come only for this purpose. No other business is here. Anugrahaya charanti bhavyani bhutani janardhanasya. Bhagavatam says. Anugrahaya charanti bhavyani bhutani janardhanasya. Such bhaktas, sadhu mahadana, those are their devotees of Lord Janardhana, Krishna, out of mercy and compassion, they come here, and wander here to shower this mercy upon this forgetful souls, to impart that to jnana. That is their mercy. And you'll humbly ask, pari, pranipata pariprasana seva, first surrender, then serve him, please him, then humbly ask. This is pariprasana. Only the disciple has this right. One who hears, his disciple. One who hears, he is disciple. He is not disciple, he doesn't hear and he cannot hear. In other words, one who has not surrendered, he cannot hear and he doesn't hear. Though he may be here, he may be sitting here, but he doesn't hear. He may be posing, only posing, or pretending, he only pretending that he is hearing, but he is not hearing. This Tattagyan will never enter into his ears. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Never enter, never enter, never enter. And it is most important thing. You understand? It will go up to this, then it goes out. It will never enter. He has no faith. He has no faith. He is a faithless person. Sansaya Atma Vinasyadi is a faithless person. He has no faith. In the Sadhu Sastra, Guru Bhakti, he has no pain. How this jnana will, Tattva jnana will enter into the ear? No, 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 no. You understand? One who is surrendered, one who is sincere, disciple, only he can get. Only he has the right. He has the right. Humbly, he will ask. He will serve, please Guru, then humbly ask. Then, after mercy, Guru will impart this then you will receive it. Then, sir, and this is what? Tattva Jnana, Tattva Jnana, Jiva Sa Tattva Jnana, Nartha Dasya Karma Bhi. No other activity is here, is the only one activity here. This Tattva Jnana, all your activity should center around this Tattva Jnana. Then you can make your human life successful, otherwise not successful. Then, sir, it will be a complete failure. Krishna said, I gave him chance, such a rascal, such a fool, he didn't avail the opportunity. Do you understand? Didn't avail. He's such a rascal, such a fool, I gave him chance, but he missed chance. Do you understand? So you must pay for it. Again, lots and lots and lots of species of life you will undergo, you move. You are involved in this cycle of birth and death. Lots and lots and lots and lots of lives. 
this is, you must pay for it. If you miss this chance, opportunity. Do you understand? So, what is the thought of behind? This is our question. Huh? This is Ratna Garva. Yes, source. No saying which is the source of all valuable jewels. This is Ratna Garva, Ratna Agra. What is the thought of behind it? Do you understand? So in Purana it is said, Augusti Muni, huh? by drinking one handful of water from the seven great oceans, made them empty, completely empty. What is the thought of it? This is in Purana, with Purana. One may say, this is madman's delirium. It's a madman's delirium, pagal or Kola. Is it a fact that only by drinking one handful of water he emptied the seven great oceans? It's a madman's delirium. He'll say like that. Pagal or prav. This pagal or prav is madman's delirium. Nobody puts faith in the, what the madman says. It's pagal. It's pagal. It's a madman. Huh? Why you listen to a madman? Is mad. They will say that. And they are saying. They are saying. Yes, this is madman's delirium. But this is a fact. What is Tattva behind it? One should ask. What is the Tattva behind it? So it is said, this material world is a very dreadful ocean. Bhobo Sagara, therefore Sagara means ocean. Bhobo means the material world. Bhava Sagara, isn't it? Many songs are there. What is that? Tarahe, Bhava Sindhu, Bhaja Hure Mano, Sri Nanda Nandana, Avaya Charana Aravindare, Dullava Manava Janma, Satsange Tarahe Bhava Sindhu. Isn't it? Bhava Sindhu. Bhava Sagara Sindhu means what's that? Huh? That song is there. You chant this song, isn't it? Then nice song. Huh? Satsango is there. Huh? You sing that song?
ह्यूमेन This opportunity has been given to you in this reality of the bar. You are bar to cross over this dreadful open. How can you do it? Huh? This is such a way by the association of the sun. 
The person who is drowning in the mid-ocean, do you understand? Is drowning in the mid-ocean, a person. So he is in need of what? He is in need of a strong boat, isn't it? He is in need of a strong boat who is drowning in the mid-ocean, isn't it? Drowning Man catches at a straw, that is said. If a straw is floating, he catches at it. If, if it can help me, he catches at a straw. This is drowning. When sustain it, he needs help. But a straw cannot help. A strong boat can help you. If a drowning man, a drowning person who is drowning in the middle of sand, can get a very strong boat, then that strong boat can help you. Help him. Similarly, a person, a builder soul, huh? a forgetful soul, who has been drowning here lots and lots of lives in this dreadful ocean of mental existence, he is in need of a very strong boat. What is that strong boat? Strong boat is Sadhu Sangha. Sat Sangha. Do you understand? He said, Dullava Manava Dhamma Sat Sangha Taro Hoi Bhava Sindhuri the satsanga, sadhu sangha, the association of sadhu is that strong boat which will help you in crossing over this dreadful ocean of material existence and this rarely achieved human birth. Do you understand? Bhag, 11th kind of Bhagavad Gita says, Nimad jon majjap anghori bhabhabdho paramayanam santo brahmavida santa Naur Drude Bhatsu Majjata. Eleventh canto. <coughs> Eleventh canto of Bhagavatam says the same thing. Nimajjan Majjata Anghore Bhavabdhu Paramayanam Santo Brahma Vida Santa Naur Drude Bhatsu Majjata. Naur means boat. Naur means boat. Drudha, very strong boat. Naur Drude Bhatsu Majjata. Absu means in the water. Uh, one is Majjatang, one is drowning. He is in need of a strong boat. Those who have been drowning here in this dreadful ocean of metal existence for lakhs and lakhs of lives, they are in need of Santo Brahma Vido. Is Santo, is Sadhu, Brahma Vido, Brahma Nishto, who is situated in Brahma. So Para Brahma, Bhagavan, Satsadhu, he is in need of the association of Satsadhu. That is a very strong boat for him. That is a very strong boat for him. Otherwise, he cannot cross over this dreadful ocean of material existence. So it is said like this. So here, hmm, one should mm, this, uh, take shelter of the sadhus, sadhu guru. Otherwise, he cannot cross over this dead flows in material existence. So, this material world is like such a dead flow, sin, and one has to, one is very serious to cross over this dead flows in material existence, he must take shelter of that strong boat is sadhu, sadhu sangha. Do you understand? Satsanga, he must associate with sadhus. And here, <coughs> in dead blossoms, there are six enemies. Kama, Krodha, Lobha, Moha, Madha, Mastajya. Do you understand? Lost, anger, greed, Kama, Krodha, Lobha, Moha, delusion, Kama, Krodha, Lobha, Moha, Ah, Lobha, Kama, Krodha, 
लोभ मोह डिलीजन काम क्रोध लोभ मोह मद प्राइड मास्टर्य एनिवियसनेस डेंस्टेंट जिलोसी दिस आर फोर सिक्स एनिमीज हियर दे आर लाइक क्रोकोडाइल्स दे आर लाइक शार्क्स दे आर लाइक व्हेल्स एंड फिमिंगिलस दोस डिवर व्हेल्स एज दे आर इन ए ओशन सो दिस शार्क्स एंड क्रोकोडाइल्स व्हेल्स आर हियर इन दिस मेटलिस्टिक ओशन ड्रेडफुल मेटलिस्टिक ओशन काम क्रोध लोभ मोह मद मास्टर्य हां If you cannot, ah, uh, mm, be free from the attack of such fearful sharks, do you understand? Dreadful sharks, crocodiles like calm crocodile. No. In other words, I may say, if you not be able to free from these six enemies, from the clutches of these six enemies. how can you dive deep into this ocean and collect that in valuable wealth you understand me eh uh, so you have to be free first from the clutches of this attack of this six enemies how will it be possible is only by the association of sadh sadhu sangya sarva siddhi you will you can have all sorts of perfection only by sadhu sanga only by sadhu sanga you understand sadhu sanga sadhu sanga sarva shastra ko hai lobe matra sadhu sanga ye sarva siddhi hai in all shastras frequently repeatedly it has been said to sadhu sanga to sadhu sanga to sadhu sanga if you can ah ha satse of the opportunity of associating of such a sadhu there is completely surrender soul who has developed krishna pray do you understand as developed krishna pray who has dived deep deepest person of that ocean and has collected that in valuable gem do you understand who is in possession of such an valuable asset krishna pray man if you Are fortunate if you can uh, get the uh, association even for a moment of sadhu, then you can achieve all sorts of things. So much enjoy. And this uh, Agasti Muni had achieved such perfection by the end of this sadhu sangha. Therefore, he was able to. empty make make all these seven great oceans dry by drinking only one handful of water do you understand in other words he may this is, he was able to kill all these six enemies kam krodh lobh moh mod masarya do you understand he was able to kill all these six uh, enemies do you understand he made the whole this uh, seven oceans completely dry up by dint of this sadhu sangha do you understand this is tattva do you understand it this tattva then he collected such in valuable asset krishna pray it is in the deepest portion of this ocean not in the surface not in the middle portion If you go deep, deeper, deeper, and deepest, then you can collect. Then you will be in possession of such in valuable asset, Krishna Prem. You understand? This Sagar, therefore, one of his names is Ratna Garva, who is the source of all valuable jewels. This is our thought. You understand? This is what Shastra says. That August morning, by drinking one handful of water, and all seven oceans, great oceans, dry. This is the truth behind it. It's not a madman's delirium. It's not a madman's delirium. You understand? Yes. And one, the sadhu, who, who is a sadhu, ah, he, as he said, another, another, another word is significant. 
ಮತ್ತ ಸಟ್ ಪ್ರಧಾನ್ ಇಯರ್ ಬರುಣಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಭಯಂತಿ ಮಧುನ ಮತ್ತ ಸಟ್ ಪ್ರಧಾನ್ ಮತ್ತ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಟೋಕ್ಸಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಡ್ ಡ್ರಂಕನ್ ಮಧುನ ವಿತ್ ಹನಿ ಮತ್ತ ಡ್ರಂಕನ್ ಸಟ್ ಪ್ರಧಾನ್ ಬಂಬು ಬೀಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ಸ್ ಬಂಬು ಬೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಡ್ ಡ್ರಂಕನ್ ಇಟ್ಟೋಕ್ಸಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಡ್ರಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಹನಿ ಸಾಧು ವಾಸ್ ಡ್ರಂಕನ್ ದಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥಾಮೃತ ದ ನೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥಾ ಇಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಟರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಡ್ರಂಕನ್ ಹಿ ಆರ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಟೋಕ್ಸಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಮತ್ತ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಟೋಕ್ಸಿಕೇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡ್ರಂಕನ್ ಇಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಡ್ ಪಾಗಲ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಗಲ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಮ್ ಪಾಗಲ್ is drunken is motta do understand his power ha vaishnava priya mudra vigyana bujhai however pandit learner may be here in this material world he cannot understand the behavior activity of such a vaishnav who is intoxicated who is mad after this krishna prem prem power 11th canto of bhagavata says evam brata so priya naam kirtya yatha anurago drudha chitta uchchai ಹಸತ್ಯಥ ರೋದತಿ ರೌತಿ ಗಾಯತಿ ಅನುವಾದವನ ನೃತ್ಯತಿ ಲೋಕಬಾಹ್ಯೋಲಿ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೇಮ್ ಥ್ರೂ ನೇಮ್ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ವಾಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಮ್ಯಾಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ರೋಲಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಶೆಡಿಂಗ್ ಟಿಯರ್ಸ್ sometimes all his limbs are shrunken pushed inside like tortoise sometimes so long stressed sometimes he falls in huh? he fell into the ocean thinking it is jamuna river ha huh? then stand and cut up in the net of a fisherman isn't it is a madness is pagal form isn't it is a madness mahaprabhu was practical demonstrating it is is krishna prem pagal become become mad like this jagadat become mad like this you understand ha is evam brata supriya naam kitya jada anurag dvajitto uchchai hasatyato rodati rauti gayati anumadam anutyati lokavaya he never cares what the others say he never cares for it ha huh? he is a madman madman never cares he never cares ha huh? the chanting holy name sometimes he is smiles laughs sometimes cries sometimes uh, dances like a madman sometimes rolls on the ground like this what people say doesn't he never cares for it he is such a mad person and this is said unmatta matta satpada that word is significant here this is tattva hi then stand this is tattva prati shloke prati akshare nana arth ho pa krishna tulya bhagavata vibhu sarvasroy prati shloke prati akshare nana arth ho pa is bhagavata is as good as krishna is non different from krishna do you understand in every verse in every word even in every letter many tattvas are there is potent with many tattvas and this tattva is here and this should be unclear otherwise how can you understand it this tattva is here and prabhupada my guru maharaj has just given a hint you have to inquire 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 dive deep deep deeper 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 and deepest person and collect this in valuable gem 
Krishna prayed. That he has said. And these fools, there are some fools they cannot understand. Uh, hey, Prabhupada has now said, Prabhupada has said this thing. Prabhupada has, Prabhupada has given you, given you this thing to dive deeper, 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 deeper into this ocean and collect this in value then. He has said. And you are not doing that. How can you get it? You are such a fool. You can't understand Prabhupada. I say, what Prabhupada said, you cannot understand it. You cannot understand it. And they say, oh, you understand. Nonsense. Foolish person. You can't understand. You can't understand. No. Thank you. Pray to Mahaprabhu. Pray to my revered spiritual master, Sri Prabhupada. Let them enkindle that light of knowledge unto me that my ignorance will be dispelled. So I request if 62 my followers light 62 lamps for it on that occasion and pray for it. Then I'll be happy. Thank you. <laughs> Guru Dev, so much mercy is being afforded by the Guru. Yeah. <laughs> How can the disciple hold on to that mercy, that nectar, which is being given, that Krishna Katamrita? Yeah. <laughs> How can the disciple hold on to that? Let's pray for it. Pray. Please, make me. <laughs> hold on to it. Yes. <laughs> empower me. Please empower me. Is uh, is begging such mercy. I am not a worthy person, but oh, without your mercy, how can I keep up on this thing? You can hold it, fight on it, and then within please empower. That mercy, that uh, prayer to be constantly, constantly that prayer should be done. Yes. At the Lotus Feet of Guru, this prayer should be Constantly up. Yes. Mm. Otherwise, how can we get it? Is it just going in one ear and going out the other? Oh, God. We well, want to hold on to it. We yes, to... yes. <laughs> yes, it's getting out, getting out. Yes. <laughs> can keep it up. Hold it. Yeah. It's big, filled with nectar. <laughs> it's unlimited, you see. It's unlimited ocean, you see. And I have not reached the shore of that ocean. I'm far, far away from it. Huh? Uh, what is, uh, what to have to speak of is entering into that ocean and diving deeper and deeper, deeper and deepest. I'm not yet listed in the soul. I'm away, away, far, far away from that ocean. Some How can go there and then the next thing to enter into it and dive deeper, 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 deeper and deepest? Suppose I'm a bee. That ocean and collect that same in my name, Krishna. It's impossible. It's quite impossible. How can I do it? Only good Kupa. It's only the mercy of Guru. Sadhu Guru Kupa. The mercy of Sadhu Guru. No other means is there. Way is there. Do you understand? It's only means. Drowning. Without that merciful hand to help pull us out, we have no hope. Yes, only beg mercy, always, incessantly, incessantly, praying, praying, praying for it. Karuna now hille kandya kandya, huh? Prana no rakhibar. That day, yes. if you want our mercy, Guru Dev and me. I just cry, 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 and finish my life. What is the benefit of this life? What is the benefit? Prana Naraki. That is his. Guru Dev Kupavindu, that we are singing them. The print of my Guru. So I have this prayer in my Guru. Like this. Jai Guru Dev. Hari 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 Hari